circulation in the Kingdom of Cyprus until the 13th century AD, when the then king of the island, Henri II, brought about radical changes to the island's numismatic system in order to align it with that of the rest of Europe and introduced a new silver coin, the Gross. It was during this period that Cyprus became one of the most important centres of the Mediterranean and experienced great wealth, which, of course, was enjoyed only by the island's non-Cypriot overlords, with the indigenous inhabitants of the island living in conditions of oppression and slavery. It was this climate that Peter I of Cyprus exploited, selling freedom to many serfs in lieu of a generous fee in order to fill his state's empty coffers. The coins minted during his reign show him holding an unsheathed sword instead of a scepter. With the passing of Cyprus to the Venetians, the island's numismatic system was adapted to that of the Serene Republics itself, while the minting of new coins was undertaken by the Serene Republic's Central Mint. The first copper coins minted bore the Lion of St. Mark, and they continued thus until the conquest of Cyprus by the Ottoman Turks in 1570-71. During the siege of Famagusta, gold and silver coins disappeared from circulation, and in order to satisfy the needs presented by his troops, the Venetian governor of Cyprus, Marcantonio Bragadino, proceeded out of necessity with the minting of copper coins. These were of a nominal value of one bezant and were to be exchanged on a one-to-one -one basis for silver coins after hostilities ended. During the long period of Ottoman rule, the new conquerors introduced their own numismatic system. Minting, with the exception of a small number of 17th century coins, was carried out at the Constantinople Mint. The main coin was the Akche, a small silver coin which in Greek was called Aspro, or white, because of its color. In 1620, the silver para and the kurush, a coin which in Greek was called gross and equaled 40 para, entered circulation. With the arrival in Cyprus of the British and the ensuing change of administration, all foreign coins were withdrawn from circulation in order to implement the new colonial numismatic system. The colonial administration's first copper coins were put into circulation in 1879 and had values equaling one, one half and one quarter of a gross. In 1901, silver coins were minted, which on one side featured the bust of Queen Victoria and on the other a crowned shield with the English lion. During the reign of Elizabeth II, the gross and the shilling were abolished and were substituted by the mill. In 1960, Cyprus became an independent state, but the first coins issued by the Republic of Cyprus did not appear until three years later. The numismatic system remained the same as that which had been enforced during British colonial rule, but the coins and banknotes in circulation following independence now depicted scenes from the history and culture of Cyprus. In 1983, the island's numismatic system was amended and the cent, 100 of which make up one pound to this day, substituted the mill, or the until then one thousandth of a pound. Through the ages, Cyprus, given its geographical position, repeatedly found itself at the centre of clashes and conflicts with and among peoples, both neighbouring and distant. Many of these succeeded in conquering the island and becoming, for months, years or centuries, the island's rulers and sole exploiters of its wealth. The conquerors each introduced their own numismatic system, and through these coins we, today, can glean information concerning kings, despots and governors who passed through Cyprus and left their own mark on the history of the island. The people of Cyprus 
oppressed and financially exhausted through heavy taxation and levies, had nothing with which to face the conquerors except their civilization and culture. And it's this civilization and culture which served as the passport for Cyprus's accession to the greater European family, leading to the opening of a new chapter in the island's history.